Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shanma here. More FPV Racing Quadcopter reviews and in this video as you requested, we are going to review the JJ Pro P130 FPV Racing Quadcopter. It says 2.4 GHZ 6-axis gyro racing drone. Well, I believe, is it JJRC now making JJ Pro? Well, I have to confirm that. But again, this is a proper FPV racing quadcopter, not your another toy grade quadcopter. So please be very, very careful because the motors and propellers on this one can cause serious injuries. It has an army camouflage color scheme or patterns on the propellers and on top plate of your frame as well. It has a tough and rigid frame. It comes equipped with everything that you need to fly, including the batteries. But my version did not come with any radio. So I'm still trying to confirm how I'm going to use this quadcopter with my Tyrannis. Do I have to install a new receiver? Or if there's a built-in receiver that will bind with my Tyrannis and I will be able to fly. But apart from the Radeon receiver, it has everything so far in the box. Uh, it has a 5.8 GSZ 800 TV line camera, 25 milliwatt, uh, all-in-one uh, FPV system, which is installed right there on the nose, so you don't have to actually install another FPV system. Now, as you know, this is an empty box. I have already taken it outside the box, so let's take a look at what are the components inside the box. That means we unbox it, and we'll take a closer look at the quadcopter. Right outside the box, this JJ Pro P130 Battler, we have a user manual which is basically for the camera, FPV camera system, and these are basically the same thing like Ishins going around. 25 milliwatt, 150 degree field of view, a wide angle lens, stuff like that. Uh, 5.8 GSC, of course. Now, this is the quadcopter itself, so let's dig in. We have a wall outlet, okay, uh, cable. Then we have one set of camouflage, no, 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 hold on, not just one set, we have two sets of JJ Pro camouflage uh, pattern, army pattern blades, propellers, okay, after that we have a long hex head screwdriver, uh, hex head driver, then we have a camera mounting accessories, nothing else. At this side, let me dig in, this is dug in really hard. At this side, yay, another IMAX B3 charger. I love them because you can simply balance charge the batteries right away without actually plugging in the main port, just use the balance port. So thank you very much, that was nice. And now we have a treasure bag right here. Ah, I know this is trouble because I cannot find this here. This is a JJ Pro 850 milliamp 11.1 volt tiny battery. <sighs> I hope this charger will charge it really fast. Otherwise, I have to just go around and look for more. Wait a moment, wait a moment. There is more. What, what, wait, wait, wait. There's more inside. Um, right here. Yes, we have a Velcro and a sticky Velcro. All right, so down there we have our little. Come on out, don't be shy. Please, 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 come on out. Come on, little baby, don't be shy. Ta da! Right here we have our 130 size JJ Pro P130 Battler camouflage pattern FPV racing quadcopter right here in my hand. The construction of the frame itself is really impressive. This is a thick really thick carbon fiber material. I don't have that gauge to check it right away. We have a battery tray, we have a FPV system all in one, 25 milliwatt installed right here, the flight controller, power distribution board, everything installed there and the ESCs are on the bottom protected with a soft foam, um, sticky, soft sticky foam. Well, I don't know, I don't know if I hit, well mostly normally you're flying in this angle so if you hit down it's the motor hitting down first, the ESC should be still safer. But anyway, ESCs down here are not safe, not good idea, they should have put them up here. Anyway, for now we will see how well it flies, how is the performance and what will damage if we crash it. Alright, so this is it for the un unboxing of this, now for the features. 
for the features I have already described when I was holding the box. Now the quadcopter in my hand with the propellers on and of course the battery strapped as well. This is not very heavy, this is nice lightweight quadcopter. Regarding motor, it's running 203,000 kV motors. It has a 12 amp fly color brushless ESCs. Yes, I have been having bad time with fly color brushless ESCs or BL Heli ESCs. Um, and we have, uh, we have seen serious, serious flips of death on um, Grasshopper quadcopter, which they claimed to have 230 km an hour speed, but actually it had a 230 km per hour flip of that. So this quadcopter, unfortunately, again, using fly color BL Heli uh, firmware ESCs, God bless, I hope it will not give me flip of that at 230 km an hour. So anyway, so 12 amp brushless so anyway, 12 amp ESC means you can use only 3S battery. They are rated for 3S 11.1 volt. They are not rated for 4S or 14.8 volts. So I am stuck with this quadcopter to use 3S batteries only. But hey, don't worry. The ESCs are right here. I can always switch to DYS ESCs later, 30 amp, and put a 4S on this one and see what this baby can do. But first, we will uh, try to set it up uh, with the stock setup and see how it flies and modifications. We'll go for it later. Nice and fast. Magnetometer on, barometer off. And if I put the throttle to zero, motors keep running still which is very nice. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.